Hi, it's Penny Black and Jill Foster here with another Brushstroke Basics video. And in this video, I'll be de demonstrating how to do some stamping with our Brushstroke stamp called Jingle Bells Trio. And the purpose of this video is to show how you can stamp and paint using these really fantastic Brushstroke stamps. And here's just a quick look at the stamp we're using and how you can use our painted panel that we'll be doing to create a card. So real quick before I begin the stamping and the painting, I'm going to just pop up here the supply list for all of the supplies used in creating this panel. And I will put this back up at the very end of the video. So if there's something you want to look at in more detail, you can just hit pause at that time and it will be right up on screen at the very end of the video. So to begin, I am stamping in my Misty Stamp Positioning Tool and I'm stamping onto Fabriano Hot Press Watercolor Paper. I love the smoothness of the Hot Press Watercolor Paper as I'm able to capture the details of the stamp but then also go back and add some wet media on top of it. I've stamped this using Ranger Archival Ink in the color of a shadow gray and this is just going to give me an undertone of sort of silver for the bells and a guide where to add my shading. I'm going to do my painting on top of this using Distress Ink Reinkers used as watercolors and what's really great about these brushstroke stamps is they capture just with basic stamping like we just did the areas of light and dark and the shading on the bells. So all I need to do now is go back and sort of intensify the areas where it shows me it should be dark and leave the areas where it shows me it should be light. And you will end up with these really beautiful three-dimensional looking bells. And I love this, this sort of the size and the boldness of these bells and it's just, to me a very happy sort of sign of Christmas. Now I am using weathered wood, that's the color of Distress Ink Reinker that I'm using for my paint. I'm putting the ink on my brush and putting that in the areas that I want it to be darkest and then sort of blending it out to the lighter areas using a little more water on my brush. Now you could certainly just stamp this and leave it as is and not go back and do this added painted detail or extra shading. I love to paint so for me this is just really fun to go back in and just intensify what's already built into the stamp. I'm using silver black velvet watercolor brushes. Brush in this is size number four. It's a round brush and I'll have that listed at the end in the supply list too. Now I did stamp this in an archival ink and what's great about that is that is a waterproof permanent ink. So once that's dry, when I add all this painting on top, none of that is going to sort of bleed or blend beneath the painting and the wet layers that I'm putting on top of it. Now before I went on to this next step, you did see me real quick there dry this. So I wanted to be sure that the areas that I had painted were completely dry before I went in and added this next step because I didn't want that to sort of bleed into any of those wet areas. I'm just defining some of the areas here on the bell. This is still that weathered wood distress ink reinker. I just am not adding as much water to it when I want it to be really dark. I'm using a very light soft pressure with my hand on the brush for these areas. That way I can, I, I can keep a nice thin line. And I'll just get just a few of these details on here. Now I decided to go back and give this just a little bit of a blue hint. So this is the color of Chipped Sapphire Distress Ink Reinker. And let's see here. Actually here is going to be the chip sapphire. Sorry about that. So I did add it a little more weathered wood and now I'm going in with the chip sapphire. And that will definitely darken things up and give it more of a blue hint. Now all along through the creation of this, a person could really stop whenever they're happy with the result. I keep fiddling <laughs> with things and adding more color and more layers because for me that's fun. But 
sometimes simple is best too or if you're mass producing the cards you would not have definitely not have to add as many layers of ink or stamping um, to have a beautiful result and one of the results that I think is really fun about this style of stamp from Penny Black is it just looks like it's completely hand painted um, that it's not a stamped outline that's been colored in but that the entire design has a really hand painted homespun look to it Another thing that's helpful when you are painting these type of images and these stamps is when you go to do your painting is to have the packaging right next to you as well so you can refer back to it as you paint. And I'm sorry here for just a little bit of dead air time. Um, usually I edit this part out but I apologize for that. I must be grabbing something, I don't know, <laughs> or thinking about what to do next trying to decide. Um, I'm going to just darken up this top part here on the bells. Now for my bell, I did all of them with the weathered wood and sort of did that basic blending and shading. And then for this bell, I did added some blue and now I decided to add just a tint of green. So these inks are fairly transparent. The more water that you add to them, um, they just add kind of a transparent layer on top of the shading that you've already done beneath with the weathered wood ink. And so you can add, you could have, do these in lots of different colors colors you could have them all all have the same hint of color to them you could do red and green also I think these are really beautiful when done in shades of brown um, they just give it a different sort of a more country look to the bells and you would just follow the same technique here just mix around your colors and try different things until you're happy with the look I allowed that to dry just a little bit more and then I'm going back here and just adding another layer of ink on top just to darken things up. I do tend to start light with my shading and my coloring because I like to, I'd rather go back and add more layers than go too heavy or too dark to begin with and sort of feel like I've ruined it and I can't fix it. Now right up on here I'm just using that weathered wood distress reinker and a very light touch with my brush just to tie in sort of these strings that they're hanging down from, darken them up a little bit. So here's a look at the finished painted panel once it was all done. There's lots of things you could do with this to turn it into a card. You could just add your sentiment right with that. You could cut out these bells and layer them onto another design. I did some masking and stamping to create sort of a background center panel to finish off my card and I added a mix of a stamp and die cut sentiment. Now I will link down to a video down in the YouTube description box below of how you can do that masking and stamping onto the background. And I hope you enjoyed today's brushstroke basic video with our Jingle Bells Trio stamp from Penny Black. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also connect with us on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, as well as our website and blog. And I'll link to all of those for you down in the YouTube description box as well. Thanks for watching.